Howdy guys, I'm back with more Mass Effect 2. Last time I did Jacob's loyalty mission and I explored an anomaly. So I only have two more loyalty missions to do for now. I have Grunt and Morden and they both need to go to Tuchanka so I'm not really sure which one I'm going to end up doing because I haven't been to Tuchanka before. But before I go I've got a few unread messages so let's uh, let's see we've got about four messages to look at. Let's start from the bottom. Let's go, thank you from Leslie. From Leslie. I am Leslie. I was on Aya. Aya, whatever. The food made me sick. The doctors are helping me now. One doctor knows Jacob. He says he can tell you this. He could write my na write this for me, but I want to do it. I need to use my words. My words are coming back. I can talk well. Reading is hard, but I'm getting better. I have to get better. Taylor wanted me like this. He wanted my words gone. I have to show him that he lost. I am not weak. He did things to me, and he can't now. He can't take away my words. He can't make me not me anymore, because you and Jacob stopped him. Thank you, Leslie. Well, well, that brought me back. <laughs> well, I'm I'm glad that the people that survived are getting better, but, you know, when she says, Taylor wanted me like this, and, you know, he did things to me, and he can't now make... That right there makes me think, man, was prison really the best for him? I should have shot him, but, you know, he can suffer the rest of his miserable life in a... In an alliance prison, like like Shepard said, for every year of crime he did on this planet, he'll have ten to think about it. So maybe rotting in prison really is worse than just being dead. I don't really know. All right, concerns regarding keepers from Chorban. Ah, okay, so this is a fellow from the first Mass Effect game. Wow, he has a lot to say. I hope this address still works. I promised to send you intel on the keepers if I found anything, and this is important. See those scans you took? It turns out the keepers are bioengineered, and based on my comparisons to some of that material from Saren's flagship, Sovereign, they were engineered millions of years ago by the same people who made Sovereign. The same people who made Sovereign. So Sovereign was created. So you've got collectors that were Protheans that are working for Reapers, which means there's something more dangerous behind the Reapers, maybe? Hmm. You may not understand how important, how important this is, but it suggests that the Citadel wasn't really made by the Protheans. Well, old news to me now. It may have been made by something far older, with the Keepers as organic guardians. And what's more, based on my genetic readings, they're supposed to react to something, some signal or something, about every 50,000 years. <laughs> you can measure genetic variances. It's a bit like comparing rings on a tree to see the drought in years, or see the drought years. Huh. So that would be every 50,000 years the reapers are like, alright, we're here to destroy some civilization. Whoever did this, well, around the last time the signal went off would have been around the time the Protheans disappeared, and it's scheduled to go off sometime around now. <laughs> if any of the old tech still works, they could have some nasty surprises waiting for us. Just thought you'd want to know, nobody on the Citadel will listen to me. And yeah, that's... It seems like the people on the Citadel should know, given what just happened to the Citadel. Man... All right, it could happen to you from Elkos mail routing. Adrel lay in the ocean, dying from Kerpel syndrome, and had a dream. In his dream, the Enkindlers came to him and charted the course of his life. The Drell saw the wakes and the eddies, uh, okay, and saw the saw that sometimes the enkindlers swam alongside him, limbs raking in the water, while other times he was alone. The drells saw that he or saw that the times he was alone were the hardest times in his life. He asked the enkindlers, why was this one abandoned? Oh, okay. Okay, this is that, um, the, um, okay, hold on, I'm gonna finish reading it, because I think I know what this is. Okay. 
The enkindlers answered, their lights shining brightly, You were never abandoned. In those difficult times in your life, it was our bodies that bore you through the water. The drell awoke and found the Kerpel syndrome cured. If you follow the light of the enkindlers, it can happen to you. Where the enkindlers go, we shall follow. And where their light is on the sun, we shall be the stars around them. Send this message to six beings of your acquaintance, and your greatest wish will come true. Okay, so this is that one where it was an email chain, I guess, but I think you usually see this printed on those decorative plates in people's houses where it's like, I looked at the footprints in the sand where God walked next to me, and then sometimes there was only one set of footprints. That's like, And the, the little story says, well, why are there only one set of footprints here? Why did you leave me at these times? And God was supposed to say, oh, I didn't leave you. Those were the times I carried you, right? So that's what that is. I like all these little joke emails. These are cute. All right, last one. Blue Sun's activity traced from Cerberus Command. We did a little due di diligence on this Lieutenant Locke and his rendezvous with the Captain Vorhes. The coordinates we obtained as the last known location of the MSV Strontium Mule have been added to your galaxy map. It turns out the mule is carrying valuable cargo, including intel of a sensitive nature. would like you to go track down the Strontium Mule and recover that cargo. Please pass the information to us, and if you can keep any other items of value you may find. Do what you will with the blue suns. Will do. All right, I've got. I'm going to be taking care of some of that stuff soon. But for now, to Tuchanka, to Tuchanka. I am going to Tuchanka. There's no way to say Tuchanka. You go Tutu. You end up saying Tutu. All right, Tuchanka. Scarred by bombardment craters, radioactive rubble, choking ash, salt flats, and alkaline seas, Tuchanka can barely support life. Oh boy, this sounds like a vacation if there ever was one. Thousands of years ago, life grew in fierce abundance under the F-class star Aralak, a Ryak clan word meaning Eye of Wrath. Tree analogs grew in thick jungles, their roots growing out of shallow, silty seas. Life fed upon life in an evolutionary crucible. This world died in nuclear firestorms after the Krogan split the atom. Oh my gosh. A little ice age of nuclear winter killed off much of the remaining plant life. My gosh. In recent centuries, many Krogan have returned to their home world. The reduced albedo has caused global temperatures to rise. In order to maintain livable temperatures, a vast shroud was assembled at the L1 Lagrange point. Hmm. Lagrange is a ZZ Top song about the last whorehouse in Texas, I think. I might be mistaken on that one, but nice guitar solo, I think, in Lagrange. I might, might be getting my names wrong here, but anyway, anyway. It is maintained by the Council Demilitarization Enforcement Mission, CDEM, which is based on orbiting battle stations. CDEM advisory visitors to Tichanka land at their own risk. The CDEM will not attempt to extract citizens threatened by clan war. Warfare. Travel advisory. The ecology of Tuchanka is deadly. Nearly every spe native species engages in some predatory predatory behavior. Even the remaining vegetation is, car is carnivorous. Travel beyond guarded areas is strongly discouraged. And there are 2.1 billion people living in this dump. Oh boy, this sounds like it's going to be fun. Even the plants want to eat my face. I probably, you know, I took my flamethrower off for a different weapon, and I'm kind of thinking I might need the flamethrower for here, just because I, I have a vision of in mind of Shepard just lighting a bunch of plants on fire. All right, so I'm going to bring Morden and Grunt because I'm doing their... Uh, and I really don't know who's I'm going to end up doing first, so I figure I'll just bring both of them and figure it out. I uh, went ahead and got a, and trained another ability. I got this warp ammo. I don't really know how good it is, but it seems to do some pretty good work on a jack, so maybe it's okay. I don't know, but I think I should go ahead and finish upgrading cryoblast here. Now I can do deep cryoblast or full blast potency and freeze duration are equal to advanced cryogenetic, cryogenic weapons, or its effect is maximize your chances of freezing multiple targets. I think I like the multiple target stuff. Let's do that. 
Alright, Morden, I haven't used him in a hot minute, which really sucks because I really like his abilities. I really want to evolve this one. I bet this is going to be really nice. Heavy Incinerate, uh, melts or burns anything it hits. And this one, uh, splash and multiple targets. Let's do go with the multiple targets. And then, um, hmm, I guess on the Neural Shock, when I, whenever I get that, ooh. Well, why don't I go ahead and finish uh, filling that one out, I suppose. And then Grunt, I also haven't used him in a hot minute. Uh, let's give him this evolved Krogan Berserker here. So now he can be a pure blood or a warlord. Go and go berserk without losing his lethal focus, increasing his weapon damage, increases already regeneration rate. Hmm. I feel like I should give him the pure blood because I'm pretty good at. I don't know. That's not very much. Eh. I think I'm going to make him a warlord. And, uh, ooh, fortification. That'll be cool. Why don't I... <laughs> I, I think this ammo might be pretty good. Why don't I give him that? One point in that, and that. Oh, I know, this is a disaster area, isn't it? That's fine. Alright, now, you know, like I said, I ch changed it to that, but after l listening to everything about the plant life here, I'm kind of thinking I need a flamethrower, so I'm going to switch back to my flamethrower. I don't know, I just, like I said, I have a fantasy in my head of me just, you know, um, going up to a bunch of plants and just lighting them all on fire. I feel like that's going to be in my future. Maybe not, but I can dream, so. Let's take our boys to Tuchanka and find out what's going on here. Sorry it took so long to get to Tuchanka. I had a lot of uh, messages and stuff to read, but we're getting into it now. This place is going to be very, very interesting. I'm not even sure whose mission I'm going to end up doing first. So I figured, like I said, that's why I figured it's better to bring both. Alright, Blood Pack Recruiter. And okay, so there's plenty of people to talk to Stop here. Stop right there, alien. You're Shepard of the Normandy. I am? What about it? There's Char. Okay, let's listen to Char. Talk to him. What did I tell you, honey? Isn't it beautiful? Far away from all that high-tech noise. I guess. Seems a bit dirty, though. Oh. Oh, it builds character. It builds character, my goodness. Watch it, human. Okay, these people don't like me here. Good thing I brought Grunt. Grunt can lay down the law for me, right? Right? If you're looking for work, you're shouting down the wrong hole. The blood pack only recruits Krogan. Okay, well, I'm not, but thank you for letting me know. Uh-oh, we're pulling out weapons. Don't be difficult. Please don't be difficult. The clan leader wants to speak with you. Keep your running pet on a short leash. Get him the right soon or put him down. The right? You know what's wrong with him. What he needs? There's nothing wrong with him. Just go speak to the clan leader. Looks like I'm doing Grunt's mission first, and it sounds like there's something I need to do with him. Take your business to the clan leader, and keep your oh, okay. running pet on okay. a short leash. Noted. Get him the right suit. Just let me by. I have business to take care of. <laughs> he has nothing he wants to say to me, but whatever. Let's go through. I, c I like how I could pick both answers there. All right, moseying right Someday along. We'll get off this rock. Show those Torians who's boss. Damn right. Tear their scales off and let the Pijaks feast on them while they're still alive. Ha! <laughs> Krogans, man. Krogans. Alright, let's see. So, oh, okay. So this is an actual little city. So there's a shaman. Uh, okay, there's a lot of places to go to check out here. So I'm just gonna... Explore Do as not clan reports use weak encryption. I see references to a captured Solarian in the logs of the Chief Scout. Good. Talk to Scout then. Or Chief. Either one acceptable. Also, I have been unable to access local medical records. I suggest asking the local clan leader for assistance with Grun's problem. Hmm. Okay, okay. So that's some good information there. Like I said, I figure I'll just deal with things as they come when it comes to this place. Gosh, it really is in bad shape, huh? It really is all rubble. Gosh, this is... 
This sucks. All right. Were well. Were you around when the female camp sent the children over last week? No. I was off dealing with a Varen attack. What? Any promising warriors? Yes, of course. They're strong. One day they will tear our enemies apart. Well, this guy seems kind of... His voice sounds gentle anyway. All right. You don't want anything I sell, human. It'll tear your insides like you swallowed knives. Oh. Well, can I pet your doggo? Hi, doggo. Hi, buddy. Hey. hey Marin. Yeah. Oh, you big cute eyes. I want to pet him again. Hey oh, I want one. I want a Varen. Hey Marin. How do I get one? Okay, okay. I guess nothing happens. Stay. Oh, <laughs> friendly little dude. What a cutie. Hey, Ratch. Greetings, human. My name is Ratch. Have a look at what I've got. No hate for an alien? Yeah, really. Everyone I talk to hates that aliens are a nerd knot. Except you. I don't have the luxury of turning away paying customers. I do enough business off-world to know that you aliens have more credits than people here do. Oh, uh, okay, okay. Well, I guess with money comes respect. So what do you sell? What do you have in stock? Most of it's food and drink that's toxic to humans. Rincall's a local favorite. Don't try to act tough, it'll tear your insides apart. He's not joking. Rincall hits aliens like ground glass. Jeez. Otherwise, I've got weapons, scrap, and whatever food those pie jocks don't steal. Which isn't much. Take a look at my kiosk over there if you want to buy something. Yeah, tell me about these pie jacks. What the hell is a pie jack? Off-world vermin. Humans say they're like monkeys. They come in and steal food, ring call, whatever they can get their talons on. We started using the mounted defense cannons to stop them. Okay, so these are something that require cannons. I don't think my flamethrower is going to be enough. Maybe I should switch it back to a missile launcher or something. I'll help you with those pie jacks. I'm a good shot. Maybe I can help out with the pie jacks. Feel free. You can use the console out there to control the guns. Make a dent in the pie jack population, and you get a discount. Just, Good luck with that. Just a discount? I should go. Suit yourself. Okay, well, let's see. All right, so I don't want to buy anything yet. Ooh, a death mask. Wow, that looks gnarly. Increases negotiation bonus. Some gauntlets. Yeah, this might be some good stuff for me to grab, so I'm thinking I want to go help this fellow out, but like I said, you know, I'll just, I'm just gonna do things as they come to me here. Um, okay. I lost half my stock in a bed Oh, I can't go through there. And it was the good half. Aw, the good half. I'm sorry, buddy. Alright, so I'm right here. There's a scout there. Alright, so this place isn't too terribly big, so I don't think One I can get... One of the get... children, probably five years from the right. Yeah, in my eyes, I think. Huh. Think you actually had a fertile female on one of your trips to their camp? I... I must have. A son. Good for you. We'll get a ring call to celebrate. No offense, but I'm pretty sure all you Krogans have, like, the same little... beady eye... Ah, well, whatever. Alright, talk to Grunt. This is the great Krogan homeworld. This is the land of Kredok, Shiagar, and Vile. That's what I'm saying. This chunk of rock is barely worth standing on. I feel the same way. Never thought I'd miss the tank. <laughs> he says, get me back to the tank, this sucks. <laughs> you Have... see that special they had on the extranet? That crap rots your brain. You should be out hunting. Or fixing something if you can't hunt. It was a special vid on the Citadel. Yeah, maybe you guys should, uh, like, pick up some of these rocks over here. The Citadel Presidium has a big statue of a Krogan right in the middle. Aww. <laughs> well, I'm not putting a damn Asari statue up here if that's what you want. <laughs> Don't be a fool. They were honoring our fight against the Ratna. Maybe they could have honored us by not bombing us with the Genophage. Oh, jeez, that. Okay, so this goes up. The Citadel has these huge arms, and millions of people live there. Why do you care so much? You gonna leave to Chunker? Run off with the damn blood pack mercs? No. No. Aww. Then shut up and quit yammering about what you'll never see. Aw, that's really sad because... You think you're happier oh. in this camp? Where the power doesn't work half the time? And Pyjox and Varen and other clans are always trying to kill us? 
Yes. And you know why? Because I don't look at that damn extra net. Who cares what human colonies are getting attacked? Who cares who's declaring war? This camp, these rocks, this is all we're ever gonna see. This is real. The Citadel was damn pretty, though. Well, that's depressing. So's the sun. Would stare at either of them for too long. You go blind. Oh, well, you know, there's no harm in dreaming. You know, you have to be ambitious. Dream of other places. That's the only I'll thing tear that you apart. keeps. You don't have oh gosh. But that's the only way you can stay happy is by having ambitions, goals. Otherwise, you're just existing. These people can't be happy just existing. All right, there's a lot of people to talk to here, so I don't really know what's going to end up happening. So don't I'm just crowd the ambassador. Okay, I'm trying to talk to him. Would you calm down? Damn, Krogan. Turn back, human. I may be an ambassador among my people, but that doesn't mean I have to speak to the likes of you. Okay, bye. Don't think that carrying this whelp of a Krogan makes you worth my time. Leave now before my guards decide to reject you. Oh, okay. Well, they can try. You want to start getting all hostile and stuff, you know? If your guards are looking for a fight, then we can oblige. This will be interesting. They haven't had a human in their sights in some time. All right, let's do it then. Of course, if they draw their weapons, the Erdnaught warriors will be on them in seconds. Assuming they survive what I do to them. Hmm. Stand down, men. I'm starting to like this human. I am the ambassador to Erdnaught from Clan Nakmor. We're a small clan based in the Kratic Wastes. Okay, so... Uh, all right. How does your clan survive? If Nakmor is a small clan, how do you keep the more powerful clans from destroying you? We are the clan of the great warlord Nakmor Kral, who faced down platoons of Turians and won. Most clans lend us the respect our ancestor is due. Oh, wow. Okay, well, respect, you know. I mean, I just can't believe that they, after... I don't know, I guess they live for a while, but it just seems like that respect can be quickly forgotten in a power struggle, you know? So, what does your clan want here? What business does Clan Nakmor have with the Erdnaught? Clan Leader Rex requested that I come. He and Clan Nakmor have been in talks about a more permanent alliance. Uh... With our help, Erdnaught could rally others behind its banner and truly unite Tuchanka. And we would gain the chance to fight in larger battles with greater plunder. Okay, hold on. You lost me at Clan Leader Rex. What? Really? What? What has Rex been up to? Oh my. I thought all Krogan want to be warriors. What makes a Krogan become an ambassador? Huh. You don't know as much as you think, human. A Kroger diplomat has to represent the strength of his people, or his clan appears ripe for conquest. Mm. I slaughtered my way to the top of my clan, human. I speak with the authority of a warrior. Okay, okay, a little touchy. I just didn't know your ways. My bad. I'm sorry, guys. I should go. I'm sure you are needed elsewhere. Calm down. Jeez. You people. You get so angry so fast. I've had enough of you. Then let's end this. What are you guys doing? Come on. Galactic news. Anything new? Alliance military officials are having difficulty meeting hiring quotas, according to a new report. Since Eden Prime, an initial surge in patriotic enlistments was followed by a downturn, as the public became skeptical that the Alliance can match Geth technology. Ooh, bummer. So huma humanity's having a hard time keeping uh, their numbers I'm up. Straight ahead. All right, there's a shaman there in Natorf. Let's talk to... Who should I talk? Let's talk to Natorf first. No way. The envoy to the female clans doesn't have to listen to aliens. Huh? Are you a... Uh, what? I may be young, but I relay the wishes of the females. That's important. You relay the wishes of the females. Does that... Are you a female? I'm trying to... Boobs? No, no boob... I can't... How do I... I don't care who you are. The female clans don't see anyone. Ever. Uh... So do, does this person just represent the females, or are they female? They have different feet. They don't have the little 
little toesies. They just have boots, but I haven't really paid attention to any of the other ones. Do they? Yeah, I think the I'll rest of the Krogan have down. little footsie feet. Yeah, they back. all have footsie feet, but she has Give boots. And her, her legs are a little different. Like, they they seem like they've got... I'm, I think I'm lo looking at her, him, it too much. Speaking for the females is an honor, even if it delays my rite of passage. Oh. Say otherwise, and I'll kill you. Okay, so he does just speak... Okay, so that's a guy. He just speaks for the females. He He's not a female. He speaks for the females. He's like a... And it he doesn't get his rite of passage. Is it like being a eunuch or something? Go away. The envoy to the female clan. Okay, okay, okay. Let's talk to the shaman. Go away, alien. Wow. I talk to no one about our rights unless my clan leader wills it. Okay, okay. I guess I'm basically not ah. supposed to be here yet. I'm supposed to go talk you to someone more important. Accident? That crap rots your brain. Okay, so. Yeah, oh man, there's yeah, there's people over here to talk. Whoa, Rex. What? Rex. What? What? I just moused over him. What? What? Okay, hold on. I'm gonna come up here in a second. Hold on. Hold on. I'm gonna go up there in a second, but hold on. There's a there's a pit fighting gambling station real quick. I gotta check this out. What is this? Put down some real money, human. What? What? Huh? I can bet the red brown Varen. Um. Yeah. Let's. Do I just bet on what am? Oh, it's dog fight. Oh, this is. Oh, I don't like doing a dog fight. This is. Oh. Oh, yeah, Red. Get him, Red. Well, at least I earned some money, but I don't feel good about it. Oh, man. I don't know where to go if I want to go over here or if I want to go talk to Rex. I, I'm overwhelmed with choice, so. I think I need to go over here and talk to Rex. I'm just too excited, but um, I'm going to have to do that next time because I'm out of time. Thank you guys so much for watching me play Mass Effect 2. Didn't really do a whole lot. I just barely stepped onto Tuchanka. I made it from here to about here. You know how these cities go, but you know, I did a lot of uh, message reading and stuff, so I feel like I learned a lot. I just didn't do a lot, so... Next time, I think we're going to meet an old friend, Rex. So, thanks guys again for watching, and bye for now.